Please be seated. President, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration Day 2016. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of His Majesty, the late King George VI, and Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth, to the college, where they honoured with their presence our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of the Imperial College. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the president, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statue pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. This would serve as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science and engineering and medicine and their application for the well-being of mankind. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievements of undergraduate students of the college in all our endeavours, in sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least in academia. Yet in doing so, most today's graduates also acknowledge that they not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but they, they also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before them. Your time as students in the Faculty of Medicine never was solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse yourselves fully in university life developing as fulfilled, capable individuals, forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling the higher concepts of ethics, philosophy, and society. In doing so, you have made a unique contribution to the history of the faculty, an institution which started with hospitals such as Charing Cross in 1821, and now includes the medical students we award here today. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity and thereby, and thereby ensure, 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 so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So let us now remember all those who have served the college from its beginning in council and in deed, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert, the Prince Consul. Let us rededicate ourselves in humility to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow people in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, and most especially our graduates and their families, it is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2016. We gather today to celebrate and to congratulate our graduates. We wish them well in their future endeavors. Graduates, we applaud your many accomplishments during your time at Imperial. You are exceptional individuals with a multitude of talents. You have demonstrated your ability as students and also as athletes, artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, community volunteers, and in countless other ways. You used your time here wisely, both inside and outside the lecture halls and labs. 
You leave this place with a broader perspective and deeper understanding of the world, and you are prepared to address the challenges that confront it. Your education, talents, and perspective are needed now more than ever. And there are many challenges. Food security, climate change, health care, chronic and infectious diseases, weakness in the global financial system, clean water, and many other seemingly intractable problems confront our world today. Finding solutions requires people who are technically adept. It requires people with an educational, educational foundation in science, engineering, medicine, or business. People who can work across these disciplinary boundaries. People who are trained to think rigorously and to question the status quo. Finding solutions to complex problems requires people who know that extremely difficult does not mean impossible. Your imperial education has been a privilege. It is a privilege that comes with responsibility. You have the ability and the responsibility to improve the world and to serve others. I know that you will carry out this responsibility well through your individual and collective efforts. Imperial College London is a European university and, in fact, a global university. This has given you a rare opportunity to benefit from being part of Imperial's international community. You have learned from academics who may have been born in one country, educated in another, and who collaborate globally in their research. You have shared classes and made lasting friendships with students from all over the world. The major problems facing the world extend beyond national borders, and they demand global cooperation and collaboration. We need people who understand that the well-being of a nation is enhanced, not hindered, by working for the global good. We benefit from mobility and the opportunity to collaborate with people all over the world. Today, science, scientists, business leaders, engineers, medics, and entrepreneurs often have lived in multiple countries and they collaborate freely with colleagues across the planet. The world comes together across disciplinary and political boundaries to address world health crises such as SARS, Ebola, and, or MERS. Last February, 10 days after the World Health Organization declared a health emergency in response to Zika, 30 scientific journals, research institutes, and nonprofit groups based in Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and the US signed a data sharing agreement. Around the world, academics, governments, and corporations are collaborating to understand and defeat the disease. They are working together to map the genome of the Aedes mosquito, to understand the pathways of infection, and to work on effective detection, prevention, and treatment. Researchers are collaborating to overcome this global threat, and it is irrelevant where they were born or what passport they hold. You are entering a world of intensive globalization along with serious backlash to it. In a recent 18-nation survey, 51% of respondents considered themselves as global citizens more than citizens of the country they were born. In some countries, these numbers are increasing, while in others, especially in Europe, global citizenship is on the decline. I urge you to maintain your global perspective in your careers and your personal life. Continue to work, collaborate, think, and act internationally. All of us here today are very proud of you, and we are excited by everything that you will accomplish. Our 190,000 alumni are proud to welcome you to join a distinguished group pursuing rewarding and successful lives, doing myriad interesting things all around the world. As you leave Imperial, use your technical knowledge and your global perspective to help shape the future. 
be active participants in solving the problems of today and the problems that will arise in the years ahead. We look forward to hearing from you. We promise to keep in touch with you and we hope that you will come back as alumni to inspire the next generation of students with your successes. Congratulations. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Professor Alison McGregor, Professor of Musculoskeletal Biodynamics, Professor Terry Tetley, Non-Clinical Consul, Professor Myra McClure, Senior Consul, Professor Peter Openshaw, Clinical Consul, and by Mr. Martin Lupton, Head of the Undergraduate School. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Thank you. Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine and first degree of the University Bachelor of Science. Obina Abani. Jordan Abdi. Amir Yasir Abdullal. Anissa Abdullah Rahman. Nihil Agarwal. Midhat Ashan Ahmed. Awarded the ICBS Prize for Best Overall Performance on the Management Programme, the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the BSc Management Programme, and the Joan Woodward Undergraduate Memorial Prize, Anya Ahmed. <laughs> Nayab Ahmed. Abimbola Aluku. Ishfar Ali, Trent Allen, Rahu Rajes Amin, Siti Misera Amran, Apiticha Amarampala, awarded the Thomas Scurry Prize, Jia Ming Daniel Ang. Li Yi Yvette Ang. Ibarichi Anachuka. Adiba Anwar. Nadia Arif. Matthew Arnold. Nimola Arunpalam. Javier Ash. Yasir Ashraf, Ishna Aluk, Thomas Bakarezi Hamilton, Matthew David Baker, Jonathan Baker, Matthew Baldry, Elliot Ball, Prashant Bamania, Norbert Banhidi, Sukchain Sang Bansal, Ellie Beza Diamond, Harriet Beeching, Fazana Begum, Florence Bell, Grace Olowufa Mali Yo Bello. Amelia Benjamin. Gabriella Bernstein. Maninda Bamra.
Kunu Bannert. Ravina Bannert. Rishma Baram Gowda. Sandiha Batatari. Alicia Barty. Yeshanjali Bayman. Kirsty Biggs. Sudip Biswas. Rigel Bora. Awarded the NHLI Outstanding Achievement Prize in Cardiovascular Sciences, Christiana Mary Bolas. Lisa Bradwell. Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Rosalind Joy Alexander Brewster. Bellamy Brody. Laura Burney. Nicholas Burstow. Jordan Busby. Akil Butt. Daniel Campioni Norman. Ishani Canisius. Anna Kauza Nakamura. Awarded the Dudley Phillips Memorial Prize, Mina Chang. <laughs> David Churchagolian. Somi Samuel Charavila. Afnan Chowdhury. Chi Yang Chen. Michael Chi Kong Chung. Shristri Chabra. Swatikan Chidambaram. Awarded the Alan J. Stolar Prize, Jasmine Chingono. <laughs> Hawaii Ye Cho. Robbie Chowdhury, Daniel Christmas, Ono Sitikan, Henry Clancy, Melanie Coates, Victoria Cook, April Rose Covington, Bethan Julia Crosley, Awarded the NHLO Prize for Outstanding Performance in Respiratory Sciences, Ruth Dacey. <laughs> Siddharth Dave. Michael David. Jacob Davies. Oliver William Dent. Rania Derrick. Awarded the Pharmacology Prize Aljanari Natasha Dez. <laughs> Awarded the Pereira Prize, Fatima Daev. <laughs> Ali Dogal. Tara Dogra. Michael Ho Fei Du. Wei Hong Du. Olivia Dunscombe. Aisha Duta. Prairak Divedi. Martin Eckersley. Lisa Jane Edwards. Awarded the Malcolm Morris Memorial Prize, Amy Edwards. <laughs> Alexander Hugh Edwards. Omar Tariq Ali Ahmed El Toki, Osman Okabani, Ahmed El Masri, Carl Ensquist, Joshua Ensign, Simon Erridge, Yasmin Fahani Engelfield, Rachel Farah, Ray Feng. Nadia Fernandez, 
Fiona Field. Francesca Finch. Ahmed Zubar Fro. Patrick Figletsvich. Anita Gosh. Tricia Gosh. Jonathan Gilbert. Sophie Elizabeth Glover. Scott Godfrey. N. Lin Go. Sham Gokhani. John Golden. Daniel Gordon. Yasmin Gordon Brown. Matthew Oliver Goshal. Kevin Halleron. Lloyd Halsey. Bo Young Petra Hang. Sabah Hanjev. John Hanrahan. Daniel Mark Harding. Awarded the Thomas Henry Green Prize, Anya Hargreaves. <laughs> Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Harl Harrier. <laughs> Nirupuma Harry Kumar. Nicholas Harrison. Justin Yat Hin Ho. Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Christopher Holt. <laughs> Thomas John Howe. Jade Hubbard. Tricia Hughes. Catherine Hurrell. Ifra Hussein. Nikita Kuharare. Olatusin Igabakeli. Tina Amateteo Kwa. Elena Ionu. Rishi Ia. Prajesh Jadejaya. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the MSc Management Programme, Shiraz Jamshade. Courtney Johnson, Emma Rose Johnson, Rebecca Grace Chung Judge, Nimrath Narayan Sankent, awarded the ICBS Prize for the best health management performance on the BSc Management Programme, Akash Kansagra. <laughs> Dia Kapila. Irene Melissa Karina, Adam Carlson, Sayon Kadir Gamma Nathan, Georgina Rose Kerry. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the management programme, Doa Kerwat. <laughs> Hesham Khalid. Rahul Karma, Kaywan Khan, Faisal Khan, Sadia Khan, Leah Kandoka, Vikram Khanna. Arjun Qatar, Jay Katicha, Kavian Kula Sabanathan, Olivia Kuo, Mark Lai, Ashna Lakani, Andrew Lambar, Catherine Jane Leatherbarrow, Adam Lecky, Sean Junkit Lee, 
Jack Lease, Sophie Legg, Clifford Leck, Gersimran Lidder, C. Yuan Lim, Georgian Lobo Horth, Joshua Lucas, Ashley Luckyram, Matthew Machin, Thomas Song McKinnon, Yathukulan Muhesa Warren, awarded the David Lease Memorial Prize, Geed Mahir. <laughs> Anissa Mahmood, Bulant Majid, Basit Malik, Prachi Mann, Marciano Alvis Mazingo, Mohammed Masood, Kai Matthews, Daniel Morwini, awarded the Derek Johnson Leukemia Prize, the Dudley Prize, and the Stedman Prize, Thomas Mayo. Carmel McClelland, Byron Mitchell, Aina Mittal, Olivia Morley, Robert Morton, Alexander Moss, awarded the Agnes Cope Prize, Florence Louise Moy. Dayashini Mukherjee, Karthigi Gaini Nadana Kumaran, Vincent Nin, Carlos Noble Jesus, Chukwumeka Nwuba, Simizola Elizabeth Oke, Dean O. Young, Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group reports on the BSC Management Programme, Fola Shade Oye Woli. <laughs> Ryan Panchal, Bhavi Patel, Nikhil Patel, Kiran Patel, <coughs> Shivam Patel. Rohim Patel, Shalini Patel, Jahin Chetambai Patel, Jinal Patel, Darshan Patel, Kunj Patel, Nandesh Chandrakant Patel, Amy Patel, Sati Paul, Louisa Perez, Tanaraj Perin Panathan, Samir Petka, Janie Pillai, Erica Matsumoto Plata, Vidushi Pradhan, Kenny Pidya, Connor Shiku Q, Nida Raja. Anupama Ramjiawan, Dara Rasasingham, Michael Gresham Rasia, Anthony Rayner, Luke William Reader, Maxime Rigordi, Matthew Rodrigo, Adam Rossiter, Susanna Lee Reinhardt, Claudia Sadler, Nikhil Sardev, Claudia Saxida, 
awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Programme, Dina Saleh. Awarded the Julia Buckingham Prize, Anna Grace Savage. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group reports on the BSc Management Programme, Milad Sema. <laughs> Subatini Selvendran. Arman Seti. Bindia Shah. Krishna Nirav Shah. Hamina Bakul Shah. Vinay Shah, Shavaya Sharma, Sachin Sharma, Abhishek Sharma, Sumiksha Shetty, Sunjana Shetty, Elena Silk, Prashanti Sivakumaran, Reese Smith. Shawaf Farmanula So Mohammed Ansari, Adam Aziz Solomon, Purakar Srivata Stava, Ashlyn Stackhouse, Molly Stewart, Karchun Swen, Ying Christi Sun. Manraj Singh Sura, Imiko Sykes, Min Tien Ta, Muhesh Tahim, awarded the Dudley Phillips Memorial Prize, Brian Than. <laughs> Atisha Tank. Awarded the Malcolm Morris Memorial Prize, Genevieve Taylor Davis. <laughs> Radhika Thakra. Thuvarahan Thanaraj. Peter Tom. Alina Thompson. Vieri Tone. Philippa Thornton. Bension Tilly, Samuel James Top, Adam Train, Daniel Toot, Angus Tullock, James Matthew Turner, Lydia Uden, Nimai Vadgama. Raja Lakshmi Valai Yapathi, Rahul Vasani, John Vakinis, Sneha Verma, Stefan Victor, Jasper Pieter Vink, Alexander von Maidor. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group reports on the BSc Management Program, Abdul Samad Wahid. <laughs> PJ Wang. Anne Wong. Chow Yang Wang. Nisal Werakun. Peter Timothy Weston Smith. Jack Whitby, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Charlotte Louise Whittingham. <laughs> Jonathan George Wise, Alexandra Wisentainer, Hin Long Henry Wong, Joanna Wong, Brandon Wong. Matthew David Yovan Wood, Chen Shan Wu Chen Cien Wu, 
Laura Yang, Ching Yu Yang, Eugene Ming Yan Yap, Zhu Wei Yap, Ju He Yung Yu, Helen Kara Yunan, Ali Yusuf, Chu Yan Yu, Alexander Zagaran, David Zhang, Yuan Pei Zhang, Sarah Zhu, Kiska Zelstra, Melody Ball, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Avni Bansali. Kay Chong, Lauren Cutsmore. Veronica Duffy. Brianna Fletcher. Mariko Fukuda. Tian Gao. Jonathan Goddard. Antonia Godman, Genoveva Gomez, Jessica Ganawan, Emily Ha, Georgina Harmer, Jessica Henry, Evie Osi Reme Gloria Itwa, Matthew Knights, Pamel Beer Singh Ladha, Zoe Leftley, Kawai Lung, Lim Jia Min, Kush Shiv Mabubani, Dominic Murray. Yi Yong Ong, Po Yu Chuan, Mariana Popa, Ranji Dry, Zain Rizvi, Ashe Sabnis, Mathilde Savare, Melissa Shaw, Amir Sohail, Michael Spencer, Ella Stubley, Abina Taylor Smith, Sebastian T. Cash, Angela Toad, awarded the Max Bond Memorial Prize, Serena Tursanova. J. Wang, Stephanie Yip, Bachelors of Medicine and Bachelors of Surgery and Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine, Chinwendu Abani, Nisha Abraham Thomas, Priya Abrol, Hisham Abu Bakar Waziri, Jezel Asharaya, Rija Adel, Fatima Ahmad, Zakaria Ahmad, Jong Siok An, Akmal Ali. Osama Al Jibouri, John Lee Allen, Faisal Al Mayahi, Marsha Ahmed, Kajaluxi Avantan, 
Kimberly Yoshimi Anderson, Helena Angel Scott, Hiba Anis, Sharika Anjum, Osama Anjum, Natalie Ansu Amponsa, Fariz Arfin, Nilakshi Armugam, Faisal Arshad, Rajveer Atkar, Rebecca Ayers, Hina Aziz, Oriolua Bajomo, Mary Rose Ballard, Felicia Bamboshi, Hitesh Bansal, Andrew Barry, Tom Robert Barrow, Stefan Bauer, Alexander James Beaumont, Henry Beeston, Rosemary Belcher, Catherine Louise Bettany, Sanjana Bala, Abhinav Bansali, Anuradha Biday, Vamsi Brugubanda, Naomi Black, Claire Louise Blackman, James Bloomer, Prashant Bora, Henry Bowyer, Naomi Scarlett Boyer, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Rebecca Brown. Alistair George Brown, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Oliver Bronkhorst. <laughs> Alexandra Burke Smith, Alistair Cannon, Nicholas Saraceda Monte Oliva, Lakshmi Chandrasekara. Samantha Chandrasekhara, Zain Chaudhry, Amit Chawla, Hasham Nawaz Shima, Hannah Cheney Lowe, Manikanda Srinivas Chiruvu, Jermaine Ray Chi Chia, Kimberly May Hui Chin Go, Jennifer Chivin Gay, Vedika Kishor Chohan, Soha Choi, Louis Zain Ray Chu, Mohammed Junaid Chowdhury, Jazaret Amat Chowdhury, Simon Clark, Robert James Cleaver, Rachel Elizabeth Klingham, Natalie Condy, Rachel Cotton, Alexandra Cox Smith, James Alexander Crudson. Frederick Cripps, George Cross, Luke Kerwell, Nikita Dakuna, Maya Daba, Zudi Dai, Lume Damani. 
Akshay Dait. David Lewis Davis. Sarah Dean. Vikram Devalia. Harjeet Singh Dillon. Monica Dillon. Manjeep Dingra. Edward Donnelly. Amajeep Raj Singh Donashi. Lauren Lever Josephine Desai. Christina Elizabeth Earl. Matthew Edmondson. Salma El Konshani. Isaac Elliott. Sophie Ellis. Rama Aldamani. Thomas Emmis. Alicia Ismail. Theodore Ezrin Selui. David Everton. Mustafa Faruqi. Uma Faiz. Hugh Ford. Alexander Frithi. Taylor Furness. Awarded the Victor Lodorum Llewellyn Prize, James Joseph James Thomas Lucian Gafton. <laughs> Amish Garala. Akanta Garag. Jack John Garnham. Natalie Gehenen. Thomas Gibbs, Usman Goga, Maeve Goff, Sarah Elizabeth Grantham Hill, Annabelle Groom, Ankur Gupta, Hamid Habib. Awarded the Adam Snape Audit Prize, the Baron Prize, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, and the Imperial College Alumni GP Prize, Paul Halford. <laughs> Sandra Halim, Sean Harbison, Annabelle Harrison, Obeid Hashmi, Darush Hassan Zedi Baboudi. Lucy Hawkins. Jocelyn Heinz. Paula Maria Sophia Heister. Abigail Heller. Chantal Hippolette. Geraint Herbert. Harrison Howarth. Rachel Ann Hewlett, Summer Ibrahim, Amy Innes, Munin Adil Islam, Amin Moher Jain, Raja Jumbilligan, Joseph James, Roshini Janathian, Catherine Gerald. Nazef Javid, Benjamin Jochim, Lisa Jones, Stephanie Joppa. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Harriet Jordan. <laughs> Shivani Joshi, Adam Jovich, Fatimir. Kidabali, Kajan Kantha, Maria Elizabeth Caravaslis, Javani Karale, Jasmine Kashia, Holly Khan, Minal Khan, Callum Kirk, Agad Singh Kuna, 
Fortini Stefania Kumasi. Kevin Jun Hu Kao. Kanyada Koisumbot. Robin Kwan. Kwasniki, Richard Kwasniki. Gloria Lee. Robert Lee. Charlotte Lee. Terence C. Kwan Lee. Awarded the Adam Snape Audit Prize, highly commended, Daniela Lee. Mario Lepore. Alphonsus Christopher Yong Cherning Liu. James Liston. Hangyi Fiona Liu. Tommy Lewin. Cecilia Olapi Ju Mifini. Susan Maguire. Hamad Malik. Salim Sultan Malik. Farmida Menan, Heba Makbul, Claire Marsh. Awarded the Anthony de Rothschild Prize, the British Pharmacological Society Prize, the Edgar Lawley Prize, and the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Dominic Marshall. <laughs> Connor Martin. Junaid Masood, Sohail Martini Barumaid, Ken Mawini, Megan Lynch Felicity McCullough, Adrian McGrath, Benjamin McKee, Effie Minya, Sophie Middleton, Patricia Migu, Anissa Moin, Kung Hoon Moon, awarded the Glazier Prize in Surgery and the Stanford K Prize in Surgery, George Moore. <laughs> awarded the Victor Lodorum Llewellyn Prize, Malina Moten. Zineth Nisa Mugama Di Ami Aaron Nach Irpan, Mohammed Najin, Tagore Nakorn Chai, Saeed Nasser, Jeremy Neal, Christina Niafitu, James Nichols, Shanti Nigam, Sidrath. Ninan, Monachi Nikeri, Powell Obrocki, awarded the Baron Prize and the Imperial College Alumni GP Prize, Jamie Oldham. <laughs> Lawrence O'Leary, June Fei Ong, and my daughter. Madeline Claire Moreland Openshaw. <laughs> Naomi Oraha. <laughs> William O'Reilly. Syed Sharf Owais. Ngar Bao Quin Nguyen. Benita Panchasaga. Kyriakos Papaluka. John Park. Nikhil Patel. Anesh Patel. Ankur Patel. 
Aaron Phillip, Anna Pick, Margaret Pikowski, Emily Plummer, Aisha Puri, Zahe Kwamwai, Denise Desiree B. Sikwa, Riham Rabe, Akil Rafi, Thivia Ragunathan, Apareda Ann Rakpraja, Swaita Rambhatya, Saranya Vravindra, Yanis Lysis, Marcos Lysis, Aimon Lisa, Christopher William George Rivet, Syed Rizvi, awarded the Stanford Cade Prize. Zoe Robinson, <laughs> Charles Rooks, Stephen Rowlands, Catherine Rutherford, Zara Safarshandi, Justin Salchicholi, Jawad Salim. Keenan Saleh, Nicole Samuel, Sukha Sander, Joseph Scott, Alexander Scott, Nuran Seneviratne, Neil Shah, Priyank Shah, Etha Shakwe, Jessica Sharp, Roberta Shaw, Shreya Sheth, Jia Chishi, Oscar Short, Usman Siddiqui, Shomian Singagiresen, Bapu Singh, Madurima Singh, Mert Sirakia, Eleanor Smith, Katrina Spensley, Jack James Spinner, Abigail Squire, William Stanger, Awarded the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, Katriona Stoddart, <laughs> Kartik Suburaj, John Adam Leonard Sullivan, Shezad Syed, <laughs> Ali Ahmed Syed, Usama Syed. Awarded the Butel Prize, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, and the Stedman Prize, Mark Sykes. <laughs> Syed Taha, Ravina Tana, James Tarr, Jonathan Taylor, Anna Tennant, Daryl Teo, Ryan Tawari, Samantha Thaleasingham, Mother Thavendran, Priyanga Thayalakuma, Mona Theodoraki, Megan Thomas, 
Samuel Alexander Bridge Tyndall, Joshua Tonyarelli, Jonathan Topping, Stephen Tran, Anna Angela Trepekli, Ingrid Say, Hannah Tullett, Shozi Tung, Paramjit Upal, Inez Vaz, Laura Vickers, Joe Vincent, Lena Elizabeth Felicitas von Heimendahl, Alison Wallace, awarded the Cheadle Prize, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, and the Golding Medal Prize, Kiva Walsh. Elizabeth Walsh, Ife Wang, Thomas Edward Webb, Ray Wei, Simon West, Christopher James White, Leo Whitehead. Awarded the Grant Blair Portfolio Prize, Luke Williams, David Andrew Williams, Emma Williamson, Bethany Willis, Hannah Wilson, Joseph Withers Green, Jessica Suyi Wong, Caroline Ellen Wright, Laura Wynne Lawrence, Demantis Zigzalas, <laughs> Narusa Yang, Irene Yang, Theodore Casper Young, Pauli S Paula Sophie Zaninger, Alice Zanguras. David Zagaran, Abigail Zetlin, Alexa Zhao Di Zhang, Si Hao Zha, awarded the Adam Snape Audit Prize, Julia Zimmerman. Mohammed Arsalan Ashraf, Sami Azam, Mimi Lee, Nicholas Guignot, Dalraj Tamba. That now concludes the graduates from the Faculty of Medicine.
Presentation of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Usama Sayed, Outstanding Student Achievement Award. This award shows our recognition of a student who has taken their passion for their subject outside of the college and into the wider community. In 2015, Usama Sayed founded MedTech Imperial, a society which unites students from medical, computing, and engineering departments across the college in the search for healthcare innovations. Whilst helping establish MedTech Society across other universities, Usama managed to edit and write for a health center newsletter in Clapham. He disseminated advice on local health services to the community and assisted development of an app to aid provision of feedback from medical doctors to frontline staff. Usama's tireless devotion to improving himself, his fellow students, and the world beyond embodies the ethos of the college to share what we accomplish. President and Provost, I present to you this worthy winner of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Usama, would you come forward? President, I'm delighted to present to you the winners of the President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence and President's Medal for Excellence in Pastoral Care. Dr. Sonia Kumar, President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence. Sonia Kumar's work as the Director of Undergraduate Primary Care Education in the School of Public Health has seen fine art, sculptures, and webcams, all used in the pursuit of innovative teaching methods. Students visit refugee clinics and prisons in order to experience their field to the full. Sonia uses creative assessment methods to encourage deep learning from the patient experience. Her courses make learning an engaging and immersive experience that students relish and praise. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Sonia Kumar the President's Medal in recognition of the outstanding contribution to teaching excellence she has made to Imperial College. Dr. Benita Cox, President's Medal for Excellence in Pastoral Care. As a senior tutor with the Imperial College Business School, Dr. Benita Cox has been helping students and colleagues for 20 years, ensuring that her constantly evolving community receives the highest quality <coughs> of personal care. Benita understands the unique pressures and expectations that are faced by our students and ensures that they are fully supported through the distinct and varied issues that they face. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Benita Cox a President's Medal in recognition of her excellence in pastoral care at Imperial College. That concludes the award of the President's Medals. I now invite the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, Professor Gavin Screeton, to the lectern.
presentation of the Imperial College medals. First, Mrs. Edra, Ezra Bird. This award recognizes someone who plays an essential role in supporting the Department of Surgery and Cancer. Often the first person to welcome new students to the laboratories each year, Ezra Bird is the person to whom students turn, turn to for encouragement and advice. Her dedication to her vital role of laboratory support ensures that these students are able to settle into their new surroundings and begin, ca begin carrying out the department's successful research with a minimum of fuss. Ezra's quietly effective approach was best illuminated when in 2012 the Division of Cancer was offered the use of new laboratory space in the Imperial Centre of Translation and Experimental Medicine building at the Hammersmith. Despite major reorganisation, Ezra was able to both provide a supportive service, maintaining the ongoing research activities whilst over 100 staff and students relocated to their new laboratories. Her enthusiasm, dedication and passion has always been clear to everyone who has worked with her. She strived constantly in her purpose to make the research and teaching environment a safer, pleasant, harmonious place for everyone. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted you by Council, to award Mrs Ezra Bird an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the substantial contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College. Professor Justin Cobb. Professor Justin Cobb is Chair of Orthopaedic Surgery in the Department of Surgery and Cancer. With Professor Alison McGregor, he jointly directs the Musculoskeletal Lab at Imperial's Charing Cross campus. The programme of work undertaken at the MSK Lab aims to improve the clinical outcomes of patients undergoing joint replacement surgery and reduce the costs of treatment by developing and utilising new tools and technologies, improving rehabilitation methods and pioneering improved surgical training and techniques. Professor Cobb's work embraces interdisciplinarity. He's a key member of the Cross-Faculty Musculoskeletal Medical Engineering Centre, which brings together researchers from the faculties of medicine and engineering to focus on the discovery and application of new technologies to improve understanding, diagnosis and treatment of musculoskeletal disorders. Professor, works, uh, Professor Cobb's work has seen him, along with Professor Andrew Amos from the Faculty of Engineering, design a suite of partial knee replacements that minimize the amount of bone removed at surgery. These state-of-the-art custom-made implants are now being piloted at the Charing Cross Hospital. Professor Cobb's pioneering, pioneering studies enabled him to make an approach to Imperial alumnus Michael Uren and the Michael Uren Foundation, leading to the most generous donation in the college's history, a 40 million pound gift that is supporting the building of the Michael Urin Biomedical Engineering Hub at Wise City. Justin has thus irrevocably enhanced the reputation and innovative ability of the college, encapsulating its multi multidisciplinarity and groundbreaking approach. His important work benefits our institution and the wider world, and will build the foundations for even greater future benefits. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted you by the Council, to award Professor Justin Cobb an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his extensive con the extensive contribution he's made to the life and work of Imperial College. Baroness Manningham Buller is an inspirational leader, a wonderful advocate for science, a personal friend, and a cherished friend of Imperial. We know her best as a member of Imperial's governing council from 2009 to 2015, and as my predecessor as chair of council from 2011 to 2015. Eliza led our council with wisdom, with clarity of thought, and with strong support for Imperial's mission and relevance in the world today. She championed research and education at the college. Under her leadership, the student experience was enhanced, not least through the building of Woodward Hall and the new sports facilities at Heston. The college acquired new land at White City and built pioneering new research facilities like the Imperial Center for Translational and Experimental Medicine at the Hammersmith campus. Eliza's implementation of the President and Provost leadership model in 2013 
has given the college a renewed focus on building relationships with friends, collaborators, and supporters. But Eliza's contributions extend far beyond academe. As an intelligence officer and later director general of MI5, she worked tirelessly to keep the United Kingdom safe and secure. As a governor and now chair of the Wellcome Trust, she champions investment programs in improving health and well-being across the globe. As a member of the House of Lords, she makes many timely and influential contributions to national policy debates. Her achievements are such that in 2014, she was named by the Queen as a companion of the most noble order of the Garter. She is only one of 24 members of the order at the pinnacle of the British Honours System. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Baroness Manning and Buller an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution she has made to the life and work here at Imperial College. presentation of an honorary degree to Professor Eve Levy. Today we recognize the contribution of Professor Eve Levy to medical research, and in particular his research on the immunopathology of persistent viral infections, particularly in HIV, the cause of AIDS. Prof Professor Levy was born in Casablanca, moving to Paris in 1973, where he trained in medicine, qualifying in 1986. A clinician scientist, Professor Levy was appointed head of clinical immunology at the hospital Henri Mondor in Paris in 1996. Since 1999, he's been the director of in, the INSERM unit entitled Lymphoid Development in Normal and HIV-Infected Tissues. In 2011, he established the Vaccine Research Institute, a multidisciplinary center for vaccine research. And from 2010 to 2012, he was the vice dean of the Faculty of Medicine. In 2014, he was appointed the Director General of INSERM, which is the French National Research Council for Medical Research. Professor Levy's own research has been particularly focused on the immune control of HIV infection and of immunotherapeutic approaches to viral control. He's led over 20 national and international clinical trials of no novel immunological interventions and therapeutic vaccines, and now leads the EVHA HIV vaccine program in Horizon 2020. Professor Levy has worked collaboratively with UK investigators, with our clinical trials unit, with UCL, and with Imperial College and our associated hospitals. Imperial, and with Imperial investigators, he's currently planning extensive HIV vaccine research across Africa. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted you by Council to award Professor Eve Levy an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his outstanding contribution to medical research. President, Lords, Baronesses, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. When I was appointed Chair of Council of Imperial College, I became the first Chair to have also been an alumnus of the College. So although it was some time ago, I know what it feels like to occupy the other place on this stage. I've crossed the platform as a graduating student, as those of you have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, as many of yours are today. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but by whatever measure you go, Imperial College is a very special place. The Times Higher Education rankings put us as third highest in Europe and as eighth in the world. Other measures vary, but in almost all of them, we feature in the top handful of places in the UK and worldwide. Please remember that only about 6% of the world's population hold a degree at all, let alone one from a top university. So please always remember how privileged you are. For you, today is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new chapter. There are going to be lots of opportunities to come, 
and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility today to bring these proceedings to a close, and so before doing so, I'd like to thank those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So firstly, without trying to name the very many of them individually, please join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard to plan and organize today's ceremony. Secondly, I'd like you to join me in thanking Richard Dickens and Colin Durrant and the wonderful musicians and singers who've performed throughout the ceremony. Thank you. It is, of course, your day and your achievement, but sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by a great many other professors and lecturers and technicians and support staff, all of whom have directly or indirectly supported you. So I'd ask you to thank your professors and teachers and all the other staff at Imperial College who've helped you through your years. And then of course there's you, our graduates. It's your drive and enthusiasm that make, makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. Without you, there is no Imperial. So we all want to thank you, graduates, and celebrate your achievement today. <laughs> uh, and although this is nearly the end of the ceremony, this is definitely not farewell. You are now part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We'll be here for you and we'll be pleased to help you as you go on to have stellar careers, as I'm sure you will. And I dare say it at some point in the future, we may in turn ask you for help. The serious point is that we're proud of what you've achieved and we'll be proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, it seems to me at this stage in the day that the applause has been very polite so far. Perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. And I know that the students here, and I've heard about the medics, are well able to make more noise than that. So far, the engineers are winning. So very finally, I'd like to invite you, the graduates, to thank your most important supporters, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children and your friends, and those who've been there for you when you needed the most. So please stand up and thank your family and friends.